Hey beautiful people, in today's episode of The Quaint Pursuit, I'm going to be showing you how to sew a monokini from scratch. I'm actually wearing it here with high-waisted jeans, so it's multifunctional. You can wear it like this, or you can wear it like this at the beach, the pool, the river, wherever it is that you want to be. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. Woo! To sew this monokini, you're going to need a half yard of swimmer spandex and knit fabric that stretches both ways. You need matching thread, fabric scissors, pins, five yards of quarter inch elastic, a tape measure, and a sewing pattern. In my last video, I showed you how to draft this pattern, so check that out in the description box down below. And if you'd like to change the playback speed of this video for better understanding, then do the following steps on the screen. First, you're gonna start by cutting a back and front piece from both the spandex fabric and the knit fabric. Fold the spandex and knit fabric, place the monokini pattern on top, pin the patterns into place and cut around them. Join the back and front pieces of the monokini right sides together and pin along the side seams, the shoulder seams, and the crotch seam. Do this for both the lycra and spandex fabric and we're going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch along where we pinned using a quarter inch allowance. While you stitch, stretch your spandex and knit fabric to ensure that you won't have any popped threads when this fabric stretches. Clip into the side seams of both your spandex and knit pieces and this is to ensure that you have a smooth curve at the sides. Next, take the knit and spandex pieces, open each seam flat, place them together and pin. So essentially, you're gonna be putting the wrong side of the spandex with the wrong side of the knit fabric and pinning those together. And just in case you were wondering, the knit fabric is for the purpose of lining this swimsuit so that when you're wearing it and it gets wet, you won't have any accidents of anyone seeing through your swimsuit. I've already pinned along the seams and I'm pinning along the neckline of the front and back of the monokini. The next thing that you want to do is to stitch along the very edge of where you pinned, making sure that you stretch your fabric while you stitch. If you have a serger, this would be a perfect place to use your serger because what the serger will do is that it will cut off the excess fabric and it will also serge the raw edges of this fabric for you. However, because knit fabric and spandex fabric doesn't fray, it's completely okay if you don't have access to a serger. Just go ahead and stitch along the very edge just like I'm doing here. When you're done, you should be able to pull on your monokini like this without your threads popping. And if they do pop, that means you didn't stretch your fabric enough while you stitched. Fold the leg hole of the monokini so that the crotch seam and side seam are in alignment. Use your tape measure to measure the leg hole. Fold your tape measure in half and you're gonna minus four inches from that measurement. Measure and cut two pieces of elastic that's equal to that length and do the same for your armhole. For the plunge in the back of the monokini, measure from one shoulder seam to the next and from that measurement, minus six inches and cut an elastic that's equal to that length. For the front neckline, do the same thing measuring from one shoulder seam to the next. However, this time you're gonna cut a length of elastic that's only four inches shorter. 
match the shoulder seams and fold the front neckline in half clipping a notch into the center match the shoulder seams again fold the back plunge in half and clip a notch here as well next you want to place one end of the elastic on the shoulder seam fold the elastic in half to find the center and place that center on the notch then you're going to place the other end of that elastic on the opposite shoulder seam do the same thing for the back neckline placing one end of the elastic to meet the first elastic that you placed folding that in half finding the center and placing that center in alignment with the notch that you put in the back neckline and then place the other end of the elastic to meet the first elastic at the shoulder seam stitch the ends of the other four elastic pieces together fold the elastic in half and place one end on the side seam pin that into place and then place the other end of that elastic on the crotch seam and pin that into place as well do the same thing for the other leg hole and the arm holes now you can stitch the elastic to the monokini because we cut the elastic shorter than the corresponding parts we're gonna have to stretch the elastic to meet the fabric as we go along and the reason why this is done is so that we'll be able to have a snug fit when we wear our monokini Repeat this step for the armholes, the leg holes, as well as the back and front neckline. If you had stitched properly, your monokini should be looking like this. You should be able to stretch the armholes and leg holes without any threads popping. And for the next step, you're gonna fold and stitch all the places where you put elastics. I wouldn't say that this is a step that really requires pins because it's going to be quite annoying having to take out all those pins every minute. So what I do recommend is that you just fold and stitch as you go along and take it slowly here. Don't rush yourself because when you rush, you're much more likely to make mistakes. If you're finding any of these steps difficult, then leave a comment down below or send me a message on Instagram at QuaintBoss and I'll be sure to explain to you exactly how to do whatever it is that you might find complicated. Because I know that sewing isn't easy for everybody, but it's worth a try and with practice, you will get better. Your monokini should be looking just like this and if it does then i'd love if you could give this video a big fat thumbs up also if you'd like to purchase this swimsuit which i call the morocco monokini then you could go to my website at thecointpursuit.com it's gonna be in the description box down below. And as you can see, you can choose your size from extra small to extra large. I ship worldwide and they're available in a variety of colors. So place your order if you'd like to support me. And thank you so much in advance if you choose to do so. If you have a friend that sews or wants to learn how to sew, then share this tutorial with them or you could take a screenshot and post it in your Instagram story tagging me at QuaintBoss. If this video has been helpful for you, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to The Quaint Pursuit for more sewing tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.